Hi, this is Jim with Tips and Tricks again. And uh, one of the things I've noticed a fairly large amount on the YouTube especially, but by varying people contacting me at different times, is the problem we have with CB aerials and generally radio aerials on, on the four-wheel drives. Um, the fir first thing you've got to remember is a diesel engine will shake anything to pieces, absolutely anything to pieces. And uh, one of the tricks that I do, as you can see, this is my CB antenna, it's a fiberglass whip, and uh, I've got shrink on over the joints here. I put three or four layers of shrink on, on this joint here, and uh, that actually strengthens it up. It doesn't make it rigid where it'll snap off if you hit a tree, but it makes it rigid up that joint there and actually it distributes the vibration over a larger area, which, which makes them last longer. Now this particular CB antenna has done the canning stock route, it's done the Nullarbor, and believe me, when I, I go across the Nullarbor, I go across on the dirt. It's done the Simpson two times, and uh, believe me, when I drive up to the Simpson, there's no main roads, <laughs> not the way I go. So this aerial has stood up to a considerable amount of pounding and banging and bashing out in the bush. I'm not going to advertise brand names, but this is the style I find that works fairly well. But if you have shrink on, on it, you can strengthen them up and make them a lot better. This is the, uh, the other one with the spring load on it, where they can fold it down. When you go into the desert, you'll find this will rattle itself to pieces. I always place a piece of shrink on over the joint like so. When I shrink that down, that saves the area from falling apart when I'm out in the desert. And uh, when I get home, if I want to fold the aerial down again, I can run the knife down the edge of the shrink on. And it comes straight off, no damage, no, no, no sign that it was there, and away you go. There you go, I hope that helps. Tenor in the field when you're out in the bush. But if you've got some, some of this stuff with you, when you're out in the desert and out in the bush, and your aerial does happen to break, um, I can give you a quick fix which will somewhat work in the bush. And uh, as soon as you can get a new one, I'd buy a new one. But uh, what I've done a couple of times is I've had a break in the antenna. I've got a couple of sticks off the ground, tape the sticks on, put a bigger shriek, shriek on over the outside, shrunk it all down, and kept going and uh, I've done that on, on a few occasions they've done well over a thousand kilometres on the dirt before I replace that antenna um, as long as the wire which is wound around your antenna or the braid is not broken in other words the whole thing is still hanging together you won't have any problems with it if it is broken and you just put a bit of shrink on over it and think it's going to work you're going to be going to come to grief you've got to make sure the wire is connected but it's not a long-term fix it's a short-term maintenance fix and that's why you do it so good little trick bit of shrink on fix your antennas before you go do what I do I strengthen up the joints on them and when you do go take a bit with you and you'll be able to fix that antenna in the field otherwise no one can hear you I'm about to make another YouTube video up shortly within the next couple of days on how to use a CB radio, UHF CB radio, and the reasons why we use them when we're out in the desert. And uh, I hope you stand by to be watching for it. I'll try to have a bit of fun with it. A couple of the guys from the club will probably help me with it. And uh, there's nothing worse than having two or three radio nerds together uh, doing something which we're supposed to prove that we're intelligent to. And uh, that won't be. But uh, you'll have a lot of fun, but you'll learn a lot, just like how to crap in the outback. It'll be basic, simple, straight down where you, have to, where you can understand. You do not have to be a radio nerd to be able to use a CB correctly. And if you don't use one, it's the best way I know to have a head on.